Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Funders Global. This is the 14th video in this MS PowerPoint course. And in this video, we are going to tell you about how to use smart art in MS PowerPoint. Well, guys, smart art is a very effective and interactive tool which can make your PowerPoint presentations a way better and bring you the best interaction and interactive rate. So, and in this video, I'm going to show you a smart way to use smart art in your MS PowerPoint. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So welcome back guys we are in the powerpoint software right now this is the 2019 version of ms powerpoint and you don't have to worry each and every version of the ms powerpoint have the same features you just have to find out the features that where are they okay otherwise all the options all the features are there in every version of the software okay so let's take a blank present uh, presentation let's take a blank sheet over here so that we can show you how you can add a smart art in your presentation so let's let me change the layout first let me blank this out totally now in order to add a smart art you just have to go to insert and here's the smart art option in the illustrations menu option okay so this is the smart art option once you click here you'll be able to see tons of smart art options which you can add in order to create your ppt more interactive and more beautiful as you can see here so the uh, this one is the all and you can see the categorize wise as well list process if you want to show the process in your ppt any kind of process you can do or uh, you can use these smart arts then we have cycle hierarchy relations metrics pyramid picture and then we have office office dot com okay so let's choose this one process and once you select the smart art you just have to click ok and the smart art will be added over here okay here are the effects which you can use effects or you can say smart art styles okay here are many smart art styles we have some 3d options as well as you can see here this one is also 3d all are 3d options over here this one looks good if you want to change the text definitely you have to change the text right let's say i want to write ads then social media then website okay so that's how your smart art will be looking like once you add all the uh, data once you add all the information you have after adding the information you can add the you or you can change the color of these smart arts as well you just have to click select the box and click right button in your mouse and select the color let's say i'm choosing the red one then with this one as well i want to choose the red one and it will be red like this okay if you want to change the color of these arrows you can do that as well everything can be possible okay if you are not liking the colors you can click on more fill colors and you will get the countless color options over here in standard we will see these kind of color options okay so that's how you can use your smart art or you can use smart art in order to create your ppt more beautiful and more interactive but this is a simple way to use smart art but as i have already told you i am going to show you a smart way to use smart art okay so let me go to one another presentation so this is the dummy content which i already have added in uh, this slide okay tourist attractions in new york city delhi and ottawa so the, these are the three cities this one is in usa this one is in india and this one is in canada okay then we have added the tourist attraction okay most famous tourist attractions of these respective cities okay now i'm going to create smart art of this particular data or the information which we have so in order to do that you don't have to go to insert button in the home button you just have to come to this paragraph menu and here is the option convert to smart art and once you click here you will be able to see all the options over here and if you click on this more smart art graphics you will get the same dialog box which you got previously okay so let's choose in the list option let's choose this one and click ok and boom your information or the data will be changed into a very beautiful and interactive smart art as you can see here if you want to change it you can do that as well okay these are the options you can change the style of these uh, this smart art as well like this this is the 3d effect i like this one not so decent but yeah good otherwise you can use this one as well it's looking a bit decent okay otherwise you want to change the design you can do that as well you just have to click here and we have many options if you hover your cursor over these designs you will be able to see the preview as well as you can see here this one is also looking good 
as you can see here. So this one is one of the most smart way to use smart art. You can convert your data into a smart art and PowerPoint presentation software will create a damn good design for you. Okay, so let me duplicate this slide. Okay, so I have duplicated this slide here. And now let me do some experiment with this. Go back to again, smart art designs. And then we can choose this one. This one also looks good, a bit simple, but yeah, looks good. Otherwise, we can choose this one as well. This one is also simple, but looks impressive. Also, as I've already told you, you can change the color of these box as well. Let's say I want to add red. Then in this one, blue is perfect. Let's add a change of this one into not yellow. Let's take green, little bit dark. Okay, this one looks good. Okay, then if we want to change the color of these boxes as well, we can do that. Otherwise, you can change the text as you already know. You can change the text or you can change the font, size, color. As per your choice, as per your idea, you can do that. Everything. Now, if we go back to smart design option and here are a few more options as I've already show you. Also, we can change the color directly. We can change the color of these designs. So these are the predefined colors if you want to use these colors these colorful options you can use so we have tons of options in order to create your design mind-blowing you just have to explore a little bit this software and you'll be able to create tremendous looking design so i hope you understood the video and i hope you learned something from this video and if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button and still if you have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye